I'm going to show you six things TikTok says I'm doing wrong in the kitchen. Let's start with the most recent video. This is using a vegetable peeler. Listen, most of us do peel just one way, okay? Because there are two sides of the blade, you can go up and down. So it kind of gets some going up. So the idea is that it covers the same amount of territory in half the time. I'm gonna try it on a carrot. Up, see up, it doesn't do much. You've also gotta be a little more careful going in the upwards motion, like not to hit those fingers on the side. But I wanna try it with this type of vegetable peeler, okay? A lot of people have one or the other. Ooh, almost hit my finger. I'll try to go up and down. Uh, not getting much and just about nicked my finger again. So, am I really doing it wrong by just going in one direction? TikTok, I don't think so. Is it cool that maybe you can cover twice the amount of territory in less time? Sure. This next hack involves the cereal box. Now this one kind of is blowing my mind and also I'm kind of like, that's not gonna work. Now, this is the way I would close the cereal. Fold the tabs in, set this in, and there you go. TikTok says this is wrong. So I'm gonna do it TikTok's way. Just fold the sides in, fold the back tab in, do it like a present, and shove this side. Ooh. This is also closed. It's not perfectly sealed, but whatever. I don't think I've been doing it wrong. I like the tidiness of this way, but I don't think I could get my kids to figure this out. All right, speaking of cereal, have we been eating cereal wrong the whole time? Now this sounds pretty genius, okay? I have been eating my cereal. Put the cereal in and then pour your milk in. Now I just pour a little bit of milk because I, I am afraid of soggy cereal. Yeah, then you just go to town. The thing is the cereal is sitting in the milk. So you do run the risk of at least like the bottom half of the cereal getting soggy. TikTok says, put your milk in first and then pour your cereal on top. Now this makes complete sense to me. I like to have an excuse to eat the kids cereal. I definitely don't like soggy frosted flakes. Okay, so now the cereal is sitting on top of the milk. Now there is still some touching the milk on the bottom. So I guess you're gonna eat from the bottom up. This one could be a little more life-changing. There's also another hack that is how to close your potato chip bag. Okay, no chip clips. Now, first off, I think I'm using a different bag because these are the only chips I have right now. I hope this still works because I really liked the video. I'm going to take the sides. Excuse the noise. Roll them down like a present. And you fold this up. the corner under that. Okay, I think it's the chip bag. Hold on, I'll be back. I don't have like a regular bag of potato chips, but these are like the same size bag. So this is a, um, the cereal bag. Okay, let's try this kind of bag. Up. And put the flap under there. Right, here's the test though. Did it work? I like this way. Okay, I think it only works with certain shape bags. Also, I feel like it doesn't work with like a full bag because you've got to have enough. You know, this is only gonna work if you have like half or less left in your chip bag. All right, guess what? We've also been separating our eggs wrong. Um, the much easier TikTok way is to use a water bottle. Got my two eggs in here. Now you just squeeze the water bottle and it will suck up the yolk. Ooh. Maybe I should have squeezed the bottle harder. So here's what happened. It burst my yolk first and Here's the rest of what went in here, and I'm pretty sure there's some white in here as well. So 
I think I got rid of a lot of egg in there. Okay, maybe um, I was too gentle. So I'm just gonna be a little more aggressive and I'm gonna squeeze the bottle and suck up the yolk. Okay, I separated it. Uh, the yolk came in, the white's still there. Okay, so let me show you how I normally would separate an egg and you tell me if this is really so difficult that you need a water bottle to do it. Crack the egg, two pieces. You toss the yolk back and forth until the white falls out. Bada boom. A separated egg yolk with no extra equipment. Once again, I don't think I was wrong. TikTok, I think you're wrong. And for my final trick, TikTok says I have been eating a cupcake wrong the whole time. This one is another one that I think I'm going to love because one thing I don't like about cupcakes sometimes is there's just way too much frosting to cake ratio. So how do we solve this problem? Normally, I just kind of scrape some off with my finger, but this seems amazing. You take off the bottom half of the cupcake, place it on the top. That's a good one. It's perfectly balanced. Thank you again to whoever did this. I've definitely been eating a cupcake wrong the whole time. Similar to my love-hate relationship with TikTok altogether, um, it looks like I agree with about half the things that TikTok says I'm doing wrong. I love the new way to close a bag of chips. I've definitely been eating cupcakes wrong the whole time. And I've been eating cereal wrong. So thank you, TikTok, for teaching me those things. I disagree that I have been separating my egg yolks wrong. I have not been closing my cereal box wrong. And I don't believe I've been using a vegetable peeler the wrong way. So there you have it. That's my review on the things that TikTok says I'm doing wrong. Do you agree or disagree? Leave your answers in the comment below. And if you have a hack that you'd love for me to try, send it my way. And don't forget to follow my recipes on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook.